Um, I can't imagine my life without the people that I've met through the magazine and through camp. Forget Thanksgiving and Christmas. Camp Gorgo is coming to town, y'all. Your mouth is a revolver, find bullets in the sky. I was a part of this, right? Like before it started. And um, personally ended up in a really difficult spot. There were really some challenging times in my life that didn't allow me to go to the camp for the first couple of years. And not because of anything external. I couldn't go because I was so afraid, I was so hurt, I was so damaged, I was so depressed, I was feeling so many things internally, I didn't know if I'd be received. I didn't know how I'd be received. Um, and it was a fear that kept me from going to camp for the first two years, but you guys, um, true friends, you know, you kept loving on me and you kept being there for me and you kept reassuring me and reminding me of what, you know, this is really all about. And I finally got my head out of my ass and <laughs> decided to go. And it was the best decision ever made. You know, we're past the physical, you know, I said at Gorgo, it's, it's the soul. Camp Gorgo has been a life changer for me. I flew down to Kentucky in 2015, not knowing a soul, but I have built this amazing tribe of women who challenge me, who support me, and who celebrate my successes. It is my source of inspiration. It is my source of, it's, it's a fuel for me. I leave there inspired. I leave there determined. I leave there motivated. I leave there clear. I leave there happy. I leave there um, so many amazing things because of the women that go and the women that I get to like siphon, <laughs> you know, that inspiration and that energy from. You know, Doris uh, was at the very first camp and um, she's, sort of the, she is the creator and the beginner of women's fitness and bodybuilding. And what I learned from her was I needed to go to the gym and be thankful that I could go in there and lift in front of all the men and own my muscles and own my fitness and own my fitness goals. And so that brought a new layer of my fitness journey. You know, every year there's just been a new layer. This last year is about being a goddess. And so while we're strong, we're also goddess-like. Um, in all parts of our life, so uh, the layers just keep thickening and it's, it's, it's expanding what fitness is to me, which was already a big part of my life. People like us, we don't need that much, just some one that starts, starts the spark in our bonfire hearts.